la République démocratique du Congo. Prime Minister, Monsieur le Premier ministre, the DRC and Deputy Prime Minister, et le Monsieur le Vice Premier ministre, ministres. From both countries, South Africa and the DRC, leaders of business from the DRC and South Africa, senators and members of Parliament here present, representatives and leaders of industry bodies. Distinguished guests and uh, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to take this opportunity, President Tshisekedi, to thank you and your government for the warm welcome that you have extended to us to visit your beautiful country, the Democratic Republic of Congo is the heart of Africa, qui est le cœur de and it is a country of immense importance pays, uh, to the history of our continent. Par à de notre continent est très the DRC has La RDC an equally important role to play in the future très of our jouer, continent. Uh, Dans l pour l with the wonderful resources that it has, represented in both its human capital that is its own people as well as other natural resources that are embedded in its soil. It is for this reason that we want to see more and more better relations between the DRC. This by a national commission, the 12th one, between our two countries, underscores the importance of this relationship. Our visit today comes at a time when there are many changes and challenges, but also exciting opportunities for both our two countries and indeed for our continent. It is very pleasing to be here in this business forum to see South African business people as well as DRC business people gathered here taking time out to talk about the various opportunities for business and investment that they can exploit between our two countries. Yes, we meet at a time when there are many challenges and some of these include the after effects of the COVID-19 pandemic, rising food prices and fuel prices due to the conflict between Russia and the Ukraine. But we also meet at a time when many economies around the world are having to face the challenges of anemic economic growth and also when many communities in many countries are also facing the challenge of climate change. And yet even though we face all these challenges, we are a continent that is brimming with potential and great opportunities from North Africa to the southern part of the continent, southern Africa, from the east to the west and here in Central Africa, we are favored with a vast array of endowments. We have abundant mineral resources, and fossil fuel reserves, large tracts of arable land, and in many parts abundant water supply. We have a diverse terrain that supports all manner of infrastructure development, including renewable energy. Mixte République démocratique du Congo, République sud-africaine. J'aimerais également 
remercier les membres des deux gouvernements ainsi que les experts associés aux travaux en commission pour la qualité du travail abattu, notamment en ce qui concerne les mesures et autres recommandations arrêtées en vue d'optimiser la coopération entre nos deux pays. Je me réjouis particulièrement de la franchise, de même que l'esprit de fraternité et d'ouverture qui ont transcendé les différentes discussions en commission, notamment celles relatives aux quelques points d'achoppement qui ont pu entraver à ce jour la bonne marche de notre coopération et celles relatives aux différents futurs possibles entre nos deux nations. Excellences, Monsieur le Président, Mesdames et Messieurs distingués invités, la tenue de cette douzième grande rencontre intergouvernementale entre la République d'Afrique du Sud et la République démocratique du Congo a été l'opportunité pour nos... Congolese President Félix Tshisekedi said on Thursday that he was planning to sign a security agreement with South Africa as militias continue to occupy swath of turbulent eastern Congo. In a news conference with South African President Cyril Ramaphosa in the capital Kinshasa, Tshisekedi explained that the accord could take the form of a mutual defense pact. The Congolese president highlighted the mutual defense pact of the Southern African Development Community, SADC, as a potential model without going into details. We will know more in the days or weeks to come, Tshisekedi said. Both the Democratic Republic of Congo and South Africa are members of the 16 nation SADC. Ramaphosa, for his part, pledged to keep helping the DRC to fight insecurity and poverty. Armed groups have plagued much of the Eastern DRC for three decades, a legacy of regional wars that fired in the 1990s and early 2000s. But the M23 rebel group has seized the swath of territory and displaced about a million people in the region since re-emerging from Domasi in the late 2021. The DRC has repeatedly accused its smaller neighbor Rwanda of backing the Tutsi led M23 air charge, Kigali denies. But the United States and several other Western countries, as well as independent UN experts, agree with the DRC's assessment. On Thursday, Tshisekedi said that he did not oppose to dialogue to end the conflict, but that he refused to talk to puppets in the M23. Thank you so much for watching. Peace.